Hey guys, no subscribers guy back again after a very long time away. I'm really sorry about that. I've been really, really, really busy. But now I'm back and hopefully we should keep up to that one upload a week sh uh, schedule. And hopefully over time we'll progress it to more. But for now we're back. And we're back. We're back to do the inside of our McDonald's today. As we will, This should be part three. I think it's part three now. <laughs> of the McDonald's build, which should be great. First, I am going to grab some wool. Some wool. Uh, some... Hmm, what else do we want? What else do we want? Anvil, we'll get an anvil. Um, we've got the two materials, uh, two other materials that we need. So let's go here. I'm gonna make this sign. One, by right, two. Sideways anvil. One. Shift one. There we go. And the sign. Two, three. Two, three, it's five along the sign. Like that. I think that's a sufficient height, I would say. Is that sufficient height? Yeah, we'll call it a good height. We'll give it a good height. We'll call it a good height anyway. So we'll uh, have two up. What did we do before? We did three up. So we'll do it up by three. Like that. There we go. We've got a McDonald's sign up from. Awesome. Alright, let's get back inside. Where were we? Through our front doors. And we were going to build our McDonald's up here. Up here, I reckon here. Let's get some sandstone. Chiseled sandstone. We use chiseled sandstone. We'll just make a dividing line at this second pillar. Because behind is where the kitchen is going to be and all the cooking things are going to go on. And back here is going to be the restaurant, etc. In fact, I might... I'll consider bringing that forward, but for now we're not going to. So we're going to build this chisel line across. That should be sufficient, but first we need to decide what we're going to make the floor out of. What are we going to make? I'm thinking sandstone. It's going to fit the whole sandstone look. And um, we're going to have some glowstone. Glowstone as well. Glowstone to light the place up, light the room up and everything. So if we just work out how often we'll have our glowstones, and then we should be fine. So first I'm just adding a layer of sandstone, real simple. Adding a layer, changing the floor for sandstone. Okay, so what does that look like? What do you think that looks? How do you think that looks? I think it looks fine, to be honest. No, uh, time set. 2000? Set time to 2000. Should give us daytime? Yeah. Okay, then we'll have our glowstone. Every three. There's a gap of two in between each glowstone. Does that work? No, it doesn't. It could. It could. Well, if we do that and that, put that in there. That gives us uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. 
one two yeah that pattern sort of works so two uh, glowstone three glowstone three glowstone two okay so i am now gonna you know skip ahead of the video pause the video skip ahead complete building this floor for you guys and then we're gonna resume by putting the glowstone in all right so i'll see you shortly all right guys so i'm back and we've done well i've completed the entire floor in here so i think it looks okay but we still need to add these glowstones so i thought for the pattern of glowstones well i wasn't going to do a pattern i was going to just do them randomly i'm going to walk about the floor and add glowstones in at sort of random points i'm going to go and see how in general that looks to be honest I don't want it to be too perfectly ordered or too amazing. I just want it to be a nice sort of randomized pattern of glowstones placed about the place. Placed about the place. Whoop. Something like that. I think that works quite well. It's quite random. I think it just gives it a nice different sense. Now I haven't done the floor back here that colour because it's not going to be a different colour. Different colour, different material obviously. So let's get some wall back. Uh, let's get some cobblestone wall. We need a carpet. Let's get a red carpet because we're on McDonald's. Red and yellow carpets along with... Um, along with some... Red and yeah, nether brick and acacia wood stairs. So those two. And now we're going to place some tables. Tables okay, will start down this end. How many can we fit a row? So one, uh, two, three. Two there, like that. Then we'll come back. One, two. One, two. Yeah, something like this. You can fit them randomly. I'm going to give it a bit more of an ordered style pattern. So something like this. Three in between. Three in between and then them in the middle. Have a red carpet on the outside. We'll go red. Uh, yellow. Red red yellow and then on here the opposite yellow red so it sort of looks like that I guess this is all right to be honest um a bit indecisive about how or how big the table should be it's up to you when you make your table or tables if you're making the tables like this I personally like mine like this And just placing different coloured chairs on different ones. The chair, the colouring of the chairs, I'm going to just do randomly. No real pattern to it, to be honest. Obviously, the four chairs around one table will be the same, but there's no pattern to the colour of the chairs like there's the pattern to the colour of the tops of the tables. So like this and you've soon got a a restaurant going or a fast food joint whatever you want to call it and this pattern that I've done leaves a nice gap between each table to move about but it doesn't make the whole place or doesn't make the look place look empty if you get what I mean There's plenty of tables plenty of seats but it's not empty And the randomly placed glowstones work with this well as well. So you get this going now. Which I think looks alright to be honest. Four chairs around a table. Pretty simple design for the tables and chairs. I wanted to keep it pretty simplistic. Nothing complicated anyway. Something easy if you guys are building this as well. Something easy for everyone just to build to be honest. The gap between here is one, two, three, four, five. One, 
two, three, four, five, and on the sixth. There we go. One, two, uh, one, two, three, I think that is. And three there. That should in theory be correct. With the table tops, and now the chairs. That's not a chair, that's a carpet. Whoops. Okay, right, there we go, there we go. If I had to place right on top of that, which disappoints me. But if we get some glowstone again, just place another one over here, I'll do that. Obviously, you may encounter that problem if you've done a random pattern as well. You may not. There we go. There are sets of tables and chairs. Quite a lot down here, actually. I think it's quite nice. Now, for the middle bit, I'm just going to use this bit as sort of the foyer section with a little barrier, actually, between the food area, or the eating area, and the ordering area. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stack up chairs on top of each other like this, all the way up to the roof. The chair, just, just set the time to the morning again. Stack up a chair and stack up a chair. Then we're going to get some nether brick slabs. I'm just going to place them where the stairs stick out to so the bottom bottom of the stairs each time. We're doing this just for sort of just to make the whole thing look a bit nicer, separate the two areas, the uh, cooking area and the eating dining area, whatever you want to call it. So you know, that's sort of there so you have to go sort of go around and get into there via this way. Sort of it sort of makes this whole huge open space look a bit more enclosed as well. Right now, no, 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 no. What should we do? Carpet-wise, okay. Yep. On the inside, we're going to add a carpet like this. Right, so I'm going to put yellow on the inside in a second. And obviously, carpet doesn't disturb the light of a glowstone block, so we're all covered there. This is sort of the entrance carpet. I don't know, just to make the whole place look a bit nicer, a bit more detail. And there we go. And now we're going to cut off. So I'm going to do two split offs here and here. Down here. So it's in the middle that you want this. It's starting to look like that. So people will come in, see the sort of McDonald's style carpet, because we're building McDonald's here, obviously. Walk into there, or they can walk into the ordering area, the purchasing of the food regions. Now, what's this? Dark oak, dark oak. Stairs and dark oak wood planks, as well as a sign. Okay. So this place obviously needs bins. That's what I'm thinking. Every McDonald's or every fast food restaurant has a bin where you put your food in. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking dark oak, uh, dark oak plank, and then the stairs on top. And in front of the plank will be this is. Oh, in front of the stairs, actually. In front of the stairs will be there. So sort of where you just put your waste into. Well, not the stairs. How about we get a dark oak slab? So let's think this through. Dark oak slab, and that in front of there. Put the word bin in front. So you sort of get it. So you can put your, your waste in there. It's a really simple design. Obviously very simple. But it just gives the whole place a bit more of a, a realistic feel. To it, 
or just something made up for fantasy if you get what I mean. Just a bit more genuine. And we'll put some more over here. And over here. There you go. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Now next time, I'm going to stop here for today. But next time what we're going to do is we're going to do this entire kitchen area. We'll give, And then we'll give the final touches to the outside of our building. We need a little bit more detail to go in there. Just, yeah, there's a little bit more detail to go. Maybe even a drive-through and I will complete, I'll do the car park actually before we before the episode because you don't really want to watch me pave over this entire area but I hope you've enjoyed watching please do not forget to like favorite and subscribe and I've been the no subscribers guy and thank you for watching <laughs>